Sabachthani! Many awaken from their slumber within the Earth's soil. Shin Megami Tensei 4 is a game that demands your attention. It's very easy to make a mistake during battle with your entire team dead as a result. You might get lost and run out of antidotes, unable to cure a poison sucking away at your life. It doesn't sound like fun, but Shin Megami Tensei 4 manages to make its constant challenge invigorating rather than cruel. Fighting demons is a necessary skill for samurai. As the game opens, you're initiated as a samurai, dedicated to protecting your kingdom from demons. From there, the narrative slowly unwinds and eventually you learn your role is not what you thought. The reality that Shin Megami Tensei 4 presents is certainly not a happy one. Slavery, suicide, class dichotomy, and the value of religion are all present to varying degrees. It's more ambitious than the typical we can win because we're friends JRPG narrative, but doesn't have much impact because of its poor pacing. There are several revelations, but they happen so infrequently that the story often feels like it's completely stalled. You can go hours without anything of note occurring. Oh. I'm sorry, Master, but I completely forgot. It has such a hard time keeping momentum that by the time something does happen, it hardly matters. <laughs> The central characters make things worse. You spend the vast majority of the game with three friends, Walter, Jonathan, and Isabeau. Walter has a less than privileged life, and because of it, he's often suspicious of authority. I'm no burglar if that's what you're thinking. I'm a bona fide samurai. Jonathan has a soft heart and believes in preserving order to protect people. Navarre, uh, I believe that's enough. We're all apprentices here after all. Isabeau isn't really anything at all. She's an indecisive character that rarely has anything useful to say. You're going to give him a bad impression of us luxurers. From the minute you meet them to the end of the game, Walter, Jonathan, and Isabeau remain largely the same. The growth of these characters is so limited that it's entirely possible to forget they're even there. Considering the quality of characters the series has had in the past, what's on display here is almost offensive. Playing Shin Megami Tensei 4 is much more enjoyable than listening to its lifeless characters. One of its biggest joys is exploration. Often the game only gives a general direction and sends you on your way. Navigation isn't simple either. You have to contend with poisonous lakes and guarded passageways that require an expensive toll. You want to head over that way? It'll cost you. So many games are afraid of letting you get lost, but Shin Megami Tensei 4 encourages and rewards it. It's the kind of game where if you pick it up in a year or two, you'll probably still know exactly where to go. Each location is mentally ingrained because it forces you to do more than move between two highlighted points. It constantly challenges you to discover what it has to offer for yourself, rather than provide a map to its secrets. While exploration is a highlight, collecting, fusing, and fighting with demons is the core of Shin Megami Tensei 4. In addition to the main character, you'll control three demons that you have to recruit through wonderfully vague negotiation. They often start with the demon asking a random question, such as whether or not you find them attractive. Much like a real conversation with a total stranger, it's hard to know exactly how the demon will respond to what you say. You have to make your best guess based on how the demon looks and how it speaks to you. Demons also ask you for things like money and items, leading to tough decisions. Do you really want to give up that precious recovery item just to get the demon on your side? Even if you are generous, the demon may decide to run off rather than become your ally. This layer of diplomacy makes battles much more engrossing than simply kill everything. Negotiations were present in previous Shin Megami Tensei games and are similar here, but they remain entertaining since it's something so few games are doing. The battles themselves are also great. Shin Megami Tensei 4 utilizes the press turn system first introduced in Nocturne. Both you and your enemies have weaknesses and resistances to certain types of attacks. If you can exploit your enemy's weaknesses, you gain an extra action during your turn. However, if you use an attack that the enemy is resistant to, you lose your remaining actions. Where many JRPGs solely require a high level and the right equipment, Shin Megami Tensei 4 emphasizes team composition. At first, you only have to worry about elemental attacks since beginning enemies are usually weak to at least one element. Eventually, these obvious strategies turn into something much more complex. By the end of the game, you'll need numerous buffs, debuffs, support actions, and non-elemental attacks. It's a lot to consider, but these options are presented gradually enough that they're easy to understand. Demons have a limited number of abilities, and the best way to acquire new ones is to fuse two demons together. Shin Megami Tensei 4 has streamlined fusion into its most elegant format yet. The game always recommends three possible fusions, and these recommendations are generally very helpful. Few RPGs can match the intricacy of Shin Megami Tensei 4's systems, while at the same time making them inviting rather than obtuse and intimidating. 
Shin Megami Tensei is a series that always seemed on the verge of moving beyond its niche audience, but was never quite able to do so. It's hard to say whether or not Shin Megami Tensei 4 will be the game to break through, but it only further proves that those who aren't paying attention to the series are missing out. The game may not transcend its genre, but it's a great reminder of why so many of us fell in love with role-playing games in the first place.